Caballeros y Caballeras The Nitric FXS series switched female XLR plug Wow Let's have a look Here it is in all its glory and you can see it's marked on off a red plastic dial with a marker and you simply turn it. This one seemed to be faulty. It's the only one I've ever had that's been uh, faulty. And I use them a lot. Could be me. You simply wire it like a normal XLR. Make sure you get it correct. And this bit kind of comes out somehow or other. I can't remember how. And you can see in there there's gold contacts which short pins two and three, which cancels out the sound. Make sure you wire it cor correctly because um, it works on phantom powered mics as well. And I wouldn't like to think what would happen if you got the wiring wrong on there. Nicely made. Nicely finished. So why would you want one? Well, very simply. So you can uh, switch your posh mic off. Why would you want to switch your posh mic off? Here's how I use it. I Most of the gigs I do, there's in the sound person I set up, take my gear. A lot of the places there might be people around whilst I'm setting up. So I know my levels pretty much by looking. But what I can do is go to the mic. Let's use this one. Now I'm on the DPA de facto. I'm going to play about between these mics, just may as well, so you get to hear. So if I'm setting up my levels, I can have the mic off. I've got an idea. I'm going to switch it off now. Then I can switch it on. And if I can hear feedback developing, I can immediately cut it. go back to the desk with the mic off, make some adjustments, come up. Same with the monitors. Uh, so I like to be able to switch the mic off. Uh, feedback develops for any reason, da, 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 and the desk is over there somewhere. I can cut the feedback immediately, which is very important for what I do. Um, what else? If I talk to the band, sometimes I turn around and can say, uh, now let's do this one, I'm, you know, maybe I'm a bit tired, let's do it a tone down, or da da da, let's do it as a Latin. You can still hear me, of course, now. Uh, the punters can hear that and some of the places I work the speakers are spread throughout various places and you can get a false sense of security because if maybe if the place you're in where you actually physically are people are very busy and talking or doing this that and the other you don't know what's going on in the other room maybe they're all silent just a few people there and everything can be heard through the, the system so you always have to have that in your mind so I, I like it to be able to do that I can just switch it off And when I'm ready, it's back on. Remember to put it back on. Uh, stops punters using the mic. Most people don't know about this, so if you're just taking a short break and you, you know, stops people who've had a, a little bit to drink coming up and doing stuff because it's off. Also, if I want to adjust the stand, this microphone doesn't go very low, so you're not gonna get a lot of thump. But if I need to put it in a different position, I just switch it off. When I'm done, I'm back on. So for what I do, I find it useful. It's nicely done. I like, you can get nickel or black. I like the nickel with the gray cable, Van Dam, because with this uh, ribbon mic, I think the whole thing uh, works quite well. <laughs> yeah. There is, as you probably noticed, I think mostly with phantom power, though this one, as I did say, is faulty, but I'm using that one, so forget that. Because with phantom power, I have noticed sometimes a little bit of a pop. Don't know why that is. Um, 
be nice if it wasn't there, but maybe that's the nature of the beast, I don't know. Don't think I've noticed it on the dynamics. It's nicely made. I could, um, it's okay. Plastic um, inside there. Be nice if it was like this. One final thing, even if it is switched off, if you've got phantom power applied, then don't pull the plug out of the mic because you'll get a pop through the PA. <laughs>